Hello, my name's Tina Turner and it's my gift to be Chief Executive here at Wakefield Hospice. I wanted in these difficult times just to offer some reassurance that here at Wakefield Hospice we are, despite these tragic times, able to continue to care for poorly people here at the hospice and to maintain our core services to the community. All the staff feel that like everyone has got loads of time for you, and so oh, you're never rushed, or which is a very different feeling from being in hospital. Yeah. Um, you feel like everybody wants to find out a little bit more, or as much as you want to share, yeah. and then you can you don't Absolutely. feel so alone. So. Well, we feel like we're all here together, one big team. Absolutely. You're part of the team, and we feel like you're part of the family. Yeah, <laughs> but it does feel a bit like that. Actually, yeah. you get to know everybody. It's really, it's really, really lovely. We've had so much support here from our incredible staff, clinical staff and support services and people have been just so flexible, so willing to help in any way they can. Members of staff and volunteers are working in different departments to help us out, working in different ways, all so that we can maintain our core service here. It's business as usual in the hospice, we're always here to care 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, myself and all of the other nurses and other allied healthcare professionals. We have to work obviously within the national guidelines to keep both our staff, our patients and any visitors safe. One of the key challenges that faces us this year is maintaining our income streams to fund these very valuable services to the community. You may know that we only receive a quarter of our funding through the NHS and more than £3 million every year comes from the generosity and support of the local community through charitable sources. This year we've had to close all our shops and many of our planned events and fundraising activities have had to be either cancelled or postponed as a result of the crisis and that will seriously reduce our income this year. That's a nice one. I can praise the hospice too highly. The care they gave to my husband was exceptional. His last few days spent in the hospice gave me such peace of mind. Knowing he was in such good hands, I can't thank the staff enough. Oh, that's just weird. Despite these tensions, we are feeling very positive about our work here at the hospice. We know that in these difficult times, it's such a privilege to be able to care for people at the end of their lives and support families through our services. I think what's important for me as, as the lead nurse for the hospice is to assure people that we are continuing to take patients in for care, whether that be to manage their symptoms or for end of life and also to reassure people that we are supporting them, whatever their needs are. If anyone is able to help, we'd very much appreciate that. It might be by a, a one-off or a regular donation, it might be a small gift in the will to protect future generations, or right now it could be making a purchase of our portrait book to celebrate the 30th anniversary year, or even our lovely rose sculpture for this year. Under these difficult circumstances, we are anticipating a surge in demand for care of the dying and recognising that death will come with even less time to prepare than perhaps has been the, the case normally. So our bereavement services here at the hospice will be all the more important and we're looking to extend and develop those so that more people in the community can benefit from them. I'd like to end by reminding everyone how important it is that sensitive, dignified care at end of life is available to everyone and what a vital part the hospice plays working alongside the NHS in supporting this. Hello to you all at the Wakefield Hospice. These are very difficult times, but I just wanted to send you a huge thank you for the amazing work that you do and the special care that you give. But please take care of yourselves as well. Keep safe and keep well. I just want you to know how appreciated you are, how loved and how cherished you all are. Sending lots of love.